Hello everybody, I'm Henry Lee, blueheronarts.com. Today we're going to show you the design and the carving of a, a mood seal for uh, Simi. And this seal is uh, a, um, a Chinese uh, uh, idiom says uh, down to earth. In Chinese, jiao ta shi di. Um, there, there are four characters usually in Chinese idiom or um, phrase. Uh, first character, jiao, means uh, foot or feet. Second character, ta, means uh, uh, tread or step. Um, fourth, uh, third character, shi, uh, solid or real. And last character, ground, di, or earth. Uh, foot, step on real ground. That's the meaning, uh, literal meaning. Um, or keep foot grounded, uh, standing on, on real ground, or down to earth. That's the translation uh, you will find on Google. Uh, in traditional Chinese uh, seal engraving art, uh, the seal would come uh, in vertical layout from right to le right, right to left, from top down. That's the traditional uh, way of writing uh, in Chinese uh, printed books. Um, but now, nowadays, you, you can read uh, newspaper this way, it's like Western style. But on seal engraving art, we go from uh, top down, from, left, from right to left still. Um, they, there are uh, several other designs I've made in the process. Uh, you can see some variational styles. Uh, they're basically yin and yang, uh, relief carving or engraving. Um, but there are also other um, calligraphic styles, like a small seal script or big uh, script. These are actually uh, our small seal script, but uh, it could be thin or, or thick. Um, I have uh, artistic uh, taste or judgment according to the content. So in this, uh, in this case, a foot um, step on real ground uh, down to earth, we need to make it uh, very solid instead of uh, elegant, like the, the, you know, this, uh, something like uh, birds singing, flower fragrant, that kind of uh, Mood seal. So um, our our customer has chosen the right one. I fa uh, my favorite also, uh, which is this one in in Han uh, official uh, clerk uh, seal script. Han official seal script, but uh, in a uh, more uh, spontaneous style. You can see in this enlarged form that uh, the four characters are not exactly the same size. Uh, foot, step, and real, real ground. Um, so some are small, some are bigger according to uh, the strokes. Also the rhythm um, of the, uh, the content. So the, uh, you might notice uh, on this enlarged uh, uh, pictures, the edge or the border uh, is part of the design. Um, and many of my customers like to keep the border away from the writing, which is uh, not the case with uh, our uh, Chinese uh, sealed engraving art, because we consider that part of the design, even part of uh, uh, the meaning, like uh, this one, I purposely have the bottom touch the word earth or ground to make it grounded uh, down to earth. So the earth uh, character is down to the, the earth line. We call this a sky, this earth, a bottom, uh, a top, if you will. Um, so we make this ground line thicker, uh, which is more solid. That's, uh, you know, if you compare to this one, it's relatively um, even and clean, but not as poetic uh, or as uh, lit uh, literal to this uh, uh, 
the, the content. I, so I have a, uh, a taste that uh, uh, following the traditional way, so we will make a part of the, uh, the, the border design, the integral or organic part of the, the seal. Uh, you can also see you know, the, uh, the qi travels uh, so if if the if the connect, if the strokes combined or sometimes like this uh, is on purpose, not uh, something you know uh, a course or a draft. It's uh, basically my um, part of my design. Um, that being said, the design the design is not going to match completely the final result because the nature of the uh, stone engraving uh, process you will see it's not possible to duplicate the design. Although I made a very uh, close printout, like a, um, as if I made a stamp on the stone from the design uh, in a process uh, with a chemical called acetone, I transferred the laser printout onto the stone. Uh, so now it's a mirror image. Okay, now I'm going to carve. This is a Shoshan, a very fine soapstone. You can see there's a sculpture of an ox on the knob. That's why I use this uh, tool to, to uh, protect it. Also make uh, the stone more uh, so, uh, leveled in the, on this wheel, so I can rotate it. All the faults are carefully designed, not uh, uh, just a, a chip or a broken edges or stroke. It's like a calligraphy. We try to simulate the smearing or the dry stroke, flying white, that kind of. Uh, You might call it vintage taste or antiquarian this design. I try to make the bottom line a little heavier. And we make the edge rounded, also the corner rounded. Character, jaw or foot or feet. The strokes are not even. 
squares are not absolutely square. That's uh, uh, that makes it more artistic. Some strokes are connected on purpose. This style I labeled it uh, full red because the stroke is heavy. Um, it's the inverse of the full white, which is very common in ancient uh, Han style script. Um, but I find it's more appearing to our Western cu customers and contemporary. Artist that we have four red, so it's more red, thicker uh, with a thicker stroke. Try not to make all the symmetrical part. Insymmetrical, asymmetrical, what do you call this? Not equal. Even you will find this um, computer font that they're more uh, mechanical and symmetrical. In handwriting or hand carved seal, they are more dynamic, organic, not uh, like a computer font. the foot vertical ta means the tread step
Okay, now character real or solid. Space, you need to the area you need to cut is very small. If you cut too deep, you will hurt the stroke. So that's why it's almost like a fine line cut in a negative way. First radical Right, that's about it. So 
So we keep the the stroke full in full red. We just cut it minimum uh, the background out to show the stroke. Making some fine tuning to make the stroke look uh, more even. Carefully do the handed the faults. Okay, and the Dust it out and uh, make an imprint. Because the stone is uh, is a uh, it's a hard, so we need to put some uh, rubber uh, rubber under under it. Uh, and like the rubber stamp, you you don't need a soft padding. It, the ink paste uh, that we use is made of a special uh, airong plant fiber and uh, uh, pigments uh, in oil base. So it will not stand the stroke. It's not a, a regular sponge. You can watch my YouTube video recently uh, in a uh, visit to Chinese uh, manufacturer showing the ink seal paste making process. This is the design, and here is the real seal. You press very evenly. You can shake tiny, but not wave uh, too too much. That way, the stroke may smear. And lift with your straight up. I think that's it. Let me make a better, better one. Is it so you can re you can load with it. Rotating the corners, one corner at a time. And check for missing spot. Make sure it's all loaded. Okay, and then blow blow some uh, moisture from mouth. It will help to reduce the grains. Press straight down. Press. Very hard. Lift straight up. Gently. And here is the seal. Some stroke could be improved. This better loading. So each time there's a little variation. Um, let me take out a little tiny pixel there. 
But sometimes I like to leave it. It's like a, the dripping of uh, ink in the, in the calligraphy. It's original. It's hard to duplicate for as an authenticity mark if it's a name seal. Okay, let's make an official imprint now. This is my collection album number eight. Gently. That's very good. And I also make a copy, final copy for Sydney. Okay, finally I'd like to thank Sandy for your trust in my artistic uh, taste and uh, craftsmanship and thank everybody on YouTube for watching. If you like to order a special seal, please contact me at uh, blueheronarts.com to place your order. Goodbye!